here is the upgrade about uh, a latest video I have created. And in fact, it's a video in which I suggest stupidly, idiotically, I suggest that what I need are contracts that you police officers signed you will perform crime against me here's the end of the quote I'm not gonna say whether it was for promotions jobs because this is exactly what it was uh, there were also other deals in it uh, and I voice in this video here, I think it's part number two, that you should stop here. No, you should not stop here. This is very, very important for me to accent. This is not your place. My place is not your place. And it will never ever be your place. For this second investigator who was involved in June the 21st, 2024, crime against me at the Novo Mesto Police Station. I just prepared something. I'm preparing myself something to eat. For this individual here, for whom I have stated he lives here in this place here. His name is Rezel. And uh, this should be a dire warning also for other law enforcement departments, courts. I've just seen these guys here. It appears to me like celebrating or something like that. I just don't like to see these people because black racism, black bigotry, Asian bigotry in United States of America, Latino bigotry in United States of America, Jewish bigotry in United States of America is hiding behind Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not what Donald Trump had presented himself as. Donald Trump is a bigot who together with Joe Biden engaged in this extermination procedure against me for 51 years so and have signed the contract let me explain something to you about the Donald Trump Donald Trump orchestrated was it January 6 on behalf of the federal government it was a sting operation during which they have apprehended arrested numerous people However, not the people you see in the mainstream media, because the people you see in the mainstream media acted as a federal agents. That much about the Donald Trump. Signed the contract with the Supreme Court that would literally hang at mercy of the Supreme Court, would act in whichever way, like uh, Stoosh, from the Supreme Court to have a complete control over Donald Trump if Joe Biden would fail somehow because the two are two are one I already talked about that uh, 
legacy of Joe Biden was to hand the presidency to Donald Trump. I stated you this is going to be all about this stuff before, actually not really, once Joe Biden did became president, but I was definitely the first person in this world who stated that. Let me explain to you something. For what I stated right now, Black bigotry affects me the most because it was the most violent. Cash for money, obviously they needed more cash for lies than anyone else in America. Maybe due to their financial status in the USA. However, I have to say that Asian minority which presented themselves as solidarity to the black people which oh, don't get me wrong I don't have a problem with the black people the black people have a problem with themselves to have a slave ancestry and engaged in a heinous criminal behavior against somebody like many of African Americans did against me is just a very very pathetic very very pitiful act self-denying act bigotry it's not that I would love to think about Asian people not so because I don't have about Asian people just as about other people any kind of people any special opinion about it people are rotten criminal wherever the fuck you go they will be less rotten and criminal against you if you are the same race and same ethnicity you would think so Slovenia have proven me wrong. Europe have proven me somewhat right. White Americans have also proven me somewhat correct. And I'm not here to divide, to destroy America or multiculturalism. I would even say Latinos probably, maybe, the same thing. However, there is something I have to say. This is about the solidarity. And I'm not here to give you a, a speech or I'm just here to rationalize, apologize. Well, make clear about what's going to happen here. Actually, what happened? Why this is happening? I don't give a fuck about who is doing what. That's your problem, whatever the fuck you do. I don't care. People are people. For me, people are people. I, I didn't have a problem, really. To be honest with you, I didn't have a problems with the people. People have a problems with me. I had a problems with everybody. It's simple as this. If you have a problem with me, most likely somebody that would just go his way, do his stuff. Chances are great that you had a problem with everybody. 
And the problem is because I didn't have a problem with anybody. Law enforcement wise, um, what usually people think very low of, US government, whatever, I just didn't have, a, I don't like to have a problems. I, when it comes to government police and so on, I just like to comply with it. That's all. I don't question. Some people resented me these issues. However, the problem is with this thing here. It's a big problem. And you are deliberately mistaking solidarity for organized crime. You are deliberately mistaking solidarity with extermination procedure. You are deliberately mistaking your Asian solidarity, your Latino with the black community solidarity. And vice versa, doesn't matter. With the solidarity. Solidarity is not organized crime, this is not gang. This is not, this is not a gang crime. Solidarity in an extermination procedure in genocide is based on lies. That's fucking worthless to you. You're not making a big name with this. Whatever it is that you're up to. I see this facial expressions. I remember officials from the US government Supreme Court, and I think it was this white guy here. I think it was this white guy. Is right here in the middle that you see him, or it could be the one in the rear, on the right hand, right next to this lady, black lady, African American lady that you see. He stated to be, I don't know. Two thousand fifteen, it doesn't matter, two thousand sixteen that he watched my videos, one of the Supreme Court justices and that he was just unhappy and uh that he came to conclusion with some others that I should just find myself another country and so on. Well who the fuck are you to tell anybody anything? Who the fuck are you? You're somebody who engaged in a criminal procedure, in a torture, in bestiality in cancer poisoning, spine-breaking procedure. As a human, you are shit. Let me make myself clear. So now, if you are saying that you are American, do I have to declare you under this type of circumstances I'm in, that you are a piece of shit? You already know it. I don't see why I should. You see yourself every day in mirror. A question is what you say to yourself, dumpster. You're going to go about what every day? What do you go about? That's a question. If you were involved in this procedure from Slovenia, if you're from Slovenia as a police officer and you were involved in this stuff, you got no fucking business to be anywhere. Um... This individual here, for me to finish this stuff here, for whom I have indicated he's from one of these two homes here, that he's from one of these two homes here, had me here in this street, uh, I don't know, let me see this here, I would say in 2000 and He had me again, like in 2017 or something like that. He didn't only have me inside of this street. He insisted me that it's one of these houses here that's his house. Not over there, but that his house is one of these houses here. Uh, I am not going to go and fuck with this stuff. I'm not going to play with this. Uh, I don't want to waste my time on this stuff. There was a lot of torture in this street anyways. But the house is on this side, and honestly, 
I really do not know which one of these houses here is his house. But it's one of these houses here, apparently. That's what I was told on this side. In at the police station, this individual He's got a younger brother, you know, and it's blonde, and uh, at least he was one, di one time. And uh, so we're talking about the investigator, Reza. Uh, so I'm going to explain to you why I don't allow this kind of stuff to appear here in this home. Or anywhere, when I appear at the police or whatever. You don't fucking cross me with any kind of... You, you don't come to me with anything. We don't have any kind of agreements. And we're never going to have any kind of agreements. Your dogs, your homeless dogs, and that is really, really mild definition. Your homeless dogs who crave for the masters from Belgrade and don't know how to get there. Back to your masters, to your owners, without killing people. That's the definition for you. He stated to me, he said to me, after you all do this, after you in, and identify this guy, you identify that guy, you identify this, and you do this, and you identify, and you identify me, then, only then I will help you. You're not going to help anybody, buddy. You have been busted. You have been identified as a criminal. You even insisted me that your brother is jobless. That is in a bad financial situation. It's only a lie because of you. In fact, that if you will have to go to the jail, that your brother will indefinitely fail, that he doesn't have anybody who's going to take care of him. This, this crime, you are not going to be solving. Let me make myself clear. None of you is going to be solving this crime. I am not doing this to welfare you or American Supreme Court to make myself clear. I am not wasting my time while suffering from cancer to welfare you. You got it all fucking wrong. You resolve this case because world knows what the fuck you are all about. This is how you resolve this case. I don't want to talk about what I would do with a scum like you. Because it doesn't make sense. As far as American Supreme Court, Donald Trump, supposedly they handed a victory to Donald Trump today. <sighs> Ugly American black fascism, racism, bigotry is hiding behind Donald Trump. And Biden, Joe Biden, who hired blacks, through the bribe system, through the bribery, through the organized crime. That's how Joe Biden keeps the nation together. It's not much different from Donald Trump, from either of the two, who both in my face fear that I'm going to break the nation. So what the fuck is the nation? Anybody knows what the nation is? I can make the nation with a lot of money. I go and I deal. This what holds the nation? The Supreme Court says yes. The head of criminals involved in this extermination procedure says yes. This is what the nation is. So what's the point of American Constitution?
this isn't about being qualified to work at a Supreme Court because I don't even know if these people work. Do anybody knows if these people work? Do they do any work? They're good clowns. They do the clownery shit. Now I tell you, these people are a lot, a whole lot involved in crime against me. They must be involved in a lot of clownery against a lot of other people too. They kill a lot of people. They lie. They steal a whole lot. But this is not American Constitution. This is not a work. Not according to job description. Not according to American Constitution. What the fuck are you about? You want to determine me. What you saw about me on my videos. That I should find myself another country. You, you, you didn't give me any idea what country I should find myself. But what about you motherfuckers? Did ever anybody ask you this question? No. Because you fit perfectly in. You are patriots. You are American patriots. You are American heroes. American patriotism. You see it? That's not a nation. That's a bullshit notion. I heard a lot of successful stories about Switzerland, how they hold together. Money, they say. Money is not bad. This is not bad. I think it's very important. The standard is very important. But uh, that's what the fuck you're all about. Rape, kill, and steal. You've been involved in this 51 years, yet you continue to be more resourceful with organized crime. Where is the border between the crime, the organized crime that you persecute and the crime that you, therefore the crime that you define as criminal and the crime you do? That's a very, very fine border, isn't it? It's a very, very thin line. Next time when you're going to give advice to somebody to find himself another country, think about this first. And then, yes, if you like, come and talk to me if you dare. I mean, talking to the person that is drugged up, that has no potential capacity, the right to even answer back. I mean... That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. That talks tones about who you are. And who you are not. I am not doing this to bail... To bail your community. To build your community, I'm not fucking doing this. You're gonna have to find another MK Ultra victim. And you're gonna tutor him more and he's gonna dance the way you the the way you like to do that. You got fucking problems. Serious problems here inside. I don't. You cause me a lot of harm. But inside here is more clear than the picture you try to create.
it's obvious what you do. And what you do.